everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Kristen and today we are in the world of Tartosa and I am building something that I have not built yet on this channel before. Um, not to say that I haven't built something similar to this before. I have like years ago, um, but it's been a long time and I recently found out that you are able to create residential rental lots, the new lot type that came in the four rent expansion pack, you're actually able to build real rentals on this water lot in Tartosa. So as you guys probably know in Sulani, all of the lots that go directly into the water, you are not able to make into residential rentals. And that was a really sad thing to learn for a lot of us. Um, I know I was really sad to learn about that because I, I built tropical homes like this before, similar to this in the world of Sulani and it was on like um, one of the water lots and I was so looking forward to being able to actually play those and little did I know to my dissatisfaction you are not able to make residential rentals on a water lot. I have no idea why they would do that. I'm sure it had to do with like, you know, technical issues of course, but still I feel like they probably could have figured it out. But nonetheless, we are able to build residential rentals on this lot in Tartosa. And uh, yeah, it, it really made me happy when I was able to actually make this into a residential rental. And they do work. I play tested this and everything. I love the way this build turned out. And by the way, I'm sure you guys seen I built one that all of a sudden all four was there. Well, you know, guys, this took me so long to build. <laughs> we are at about an hour long of a video. And so a lot of this is going to be cut out. Um, a lot of it's still here though. So don't worry. There's a lot that you guys are still going to be able to see, but I kind of cut out the boring parts where I was trying to figure out where to place a lot of the landscaping and you know, stuff like that. We are missing some parts and then some of the bathrooms I did cut out as well. Um, and then I forgot to record a little bit with the Yellowtown house, like just the living room I forgot to record, but it's really not a big deal. We have an hour long video here. So definitely if you guys have not grabbed a snack yet and a blanket and a drink, then definitely do that because we are going to be here for quite a while. I hope you guys are going to stick around for most of the video with me and watch what I created. I really am happy with the way that these turned out. I think they are beautiful. I would love to vacation here. Um, but as you guys know, we don't have, you know, vacation rentals. Well, there is a vacation rental, but it would only be your family that would be allowed to live here. And that's just not realistic. I like to be realistic in my games. And so I would never actually use this at a, as a vacation rental because you guys will be the only one with all four townhouses. And I really don't like that. So instead of vacation rental, I decided to do just actual townhouse rentals. Like who wouldn't love to live here year round, you know? So a little bit about each of the townhouses. So I furnished each and every one of these townhouses and that is partly why it took me so long to finish them. I just hate posting things on the gallery that isn't furnished. I know there's few and far between. There's some people that like unfurnished places, but I think the majority of us, you know, when we download a house off the gallery, we expect it to be furnished, right? So um, I definitely wanted to furnish these. And plus it was really fun furnishing these too. Uh, definitely by time I got to the last one, the orange one, I was pretty tired of this build though. It really took so much time. And unfortunately my laptop is still shutting down <laughs> if I play on it too much. So I think my laptop battery is going dead. So I might have to get that fixed at some point, but I'm trying to make it work. <laughs> So um, this build, I definitely had to do some stuff over on this build because of the shutdown and stuff, but it's nothing that I can't work around. And so right now I am just placing down the last few pieces of landscaping in the front. 
and I am also using the terrain paint to make it look kind of grassy underneath the landscaping. Um, there's something about just putting those leaves, like the leafy green and all the landscaping in general, straight onto the sand that just doesn't look right to me. I I can't really put my finger on it, but it's just like, it just isn't natural, I don't think. Um, there's typically if you have some like bushes and stuff on sand, it's not gonna be just sitting on sand. There's gonna be like little grass and weeds underneath it. And so that's probably why I am not too fond of just putting landscaping straight down on the sand. It just looks so much better adding the green grass terrain paint underneath it. And then I also added some like paving landscape or not landscape, but like paving terrain paint. And so it looks like there's some paving down by the stairs and the front and eventually the back as well. And so now we are shifting inside. Before I do the back landscaping and decorating the back and stuff, I just wanted to make sure I was able to put a floor plan in these townhouses because they are kind of skinny. They're on the skinnier side or like the shorter side, you know? And so I just wanted to make sure I was able to fit like a staircase and there is three stories in these townhouses. So there's the first level, which is like the living room, kitchen, and a bathroom slash laundry room. And then the second story is where there is the master bedroom with the master bathroom and additional like little bedroom slash like office you could do. I, I did some offices and I did some with it as a bedroom. It's a super tiny bedroom though. It's uh, like two by three tiles, I think. <laughs> so, so it is definitely a very small bedroom. <laughs> But then on the third story, the final story, way at the top, we have two bedrooms and a bathroom. And so in total, each of these have four bedrooms and three bathrooms. And so I was really quite happy with how many bedrooms I was able to fit in this. I, as I was figuring out the floor plan, I was a little bit worried. I didn't think there was gonna be enough room for both staircases, like the staircase on the first story and the staircase on the second story. And I made it work surprisingly enough. The master bedroom is not as big as I wanted it to. It's very long and skinny. And those rooms are such a pain for me to decorate. I just, it's hard for me for some reason. It might not be hard for everybody, but it's definitely hard for me. And so right now I'm just placing down like beds in each of the townhouses and the master bedroom just so I can like figure out how I am going to design the actual room itself. Um, I just didn't want to get too far into the build and then be like, oh crap, I can't fit a double bed in any of these rooms. And so I'm just trying to figure that out now. And I also went each of them to look different. You know, I don't want them to be exactly the same. And so I was trying to put the beds in different directions and it ended up working out pretty good. So I was happy enough with it that it ended up staying how it was. <laughs> and then, so now I'm just placing down different tiles and stuff. I'm trying to figure out what's gonna be the bedrooms, what's gonna be the bathrooms. And the easiest way for me to do that is just by placing down the flooring tile. And so the bathroom, or not the bathroom, but the kitchens are kind of like half kitchen, half breakfast nook is what I was going for. <laughs> um, I guess I could have made it all kitchen, but I just wanted it to be a little different, you know? And so some of them, most of them have like a dining table in there or like a breakfast nook table. And then the red one, I actually put a bar in there. <laughs> because you know, that is like kind of, you know, roommates live there. I was kind of going for like a party house type of vibe in that one. And um, the red one, I just, I didn't have too much fun doing the red one. Like I thought I was going to, I just love doing family style builds and stuff like that. That is always my favorite. It seems to be my favorite anyways. And so the funnest I had was this blue one. It could have been just because this was the first one that I did or it's because it blue is like one of my favorite colors. I don't know, I just, the blue was the funnest for me to make. And then after the blue, it kind of was like, 
a chore for me to go in and decorate. I am not even lying. And that sounds bad, but it was true. This was such a big project and I probably shouldn't do too many of these big pro uh, projects because it takes up so much time. But I just envisioned these certain builds for me to make and it's always these big ones like I'm working on another one right now and I'm not going to do too many spoilers or anything but it's like more than one house on one lot so and I'm probably going to I don't know I need to decide if I should furnish the whole thing or not like furnish each individual house like I did with these townhouses or should I just furnish one house and leave the other ones unfurnished with like maybe just like the kitchen appliances and like it's ready to be moved into if you should say what do you guys think let me know down in the comments do you guys prefer if you were to download a build that had more than one house on it with the four rent expansion pack sort of vibe and so like one of them is furnished that's probably where your sim will live and then the other ones are not furnished do you guys prefer to download that house unfurnished for you to move directly into and for you to furnish or for you to furnish for somebody else? Or do you prefer them all to be furnished and then you can pick and choose which one you want? Um, I know if it was me, I would prefer them all to be furnished <laughs> because um, I used to hate furnishing houses. It wasn't until recently that I actually started enjoying furnishing houses and so it's not so bad now, but I know if it was me back in the day, I would want it to be furnished all the way. And then like, if I hated the furnishing, I could just delete the furnishing, you know? So what do you guys think? Should I, in the future, build like this, just furnish one or furnish them all and show you guys? Uh, definitely let me know down in the comments below. Um, Cause I'm quite curious. Everybody has a different take on it. So I'm just very curious, but a little bit about this build. So, I am getting the living room and the dining table and everything get together. So the kitchen has a separate breakfast nook with like a little table, like a three seater table, but there is eight Sims that live here or well, six Sims and like two animals. So there is enough chairs for everybody. They just might not be able to all sit at the same table at once, but you know, this is modern times now. Who actually sits at the table, you know? I guess if I had a table in my living room where I could watch TV at the same time, I would eat at the table more often. But I'm so bad about me and my fiance just sitting on the couch and eating while we're watching our favorite shows. I think a lot of people do that now. I don't think we're the only ones. Now, if I had kids, I'd be making them eat at the table because nobody wants to pick up messes, you know? But, um... So the chairs that I used at the, in the dining table, in the living room, the actual dining area, I love those blue chairs. They're like blue with like yellow flowers on them and they just looked really pretty. I know they're not like blue all the way, but I wanted to add some accent colors here and there in all of these townhouses. It can't just be straight blue, straight red, straight yellow, straight orange. I really wanted to do like the main theme of the townhouse, true to the color outside, but at the same time, have some accent colors in there. So it changes it up a little bit. I think I did a pretty good job doing that. And um, so we pretty much have the downstairs bathroom done and the living room and all of that so we're just moving to like the actual entryway and i really didn't know what to put here but i had an idea of taking this bookshelf that is from snowy escape and then placing it under that staircase and it actually fit really good i had to size it down but i don't mind doing that your sim can totally still use it as a bookshelf and then i just use the nine key to raise up certain objects to put on the shelves. And I was really happy with the way that it turned out. I want to say this particular townhouse is probably the most cluttered. Um, and I wanted it to be cluttered because of all the Sims that live here. So it just makes sense for this to be the most cluttered. And then, um, just like I was saying earlier, by the time I got to the other ones, I was kind of just done with the whole thing. And so I was just putting down furniture, you know? But um, yeah, 
this blue one definitely is the best. I spent the most time on it and I probably tried the hardest on it. Not to say that the other ones are not good, don't get me wrong. Definitely stay tuned to the video and watch the other ones because they are good still. This is just, there's just something about this blue one that speaks to me. Like if I could live in any of these, it would be this blue one. And uh, so we are upstairs to the second story now. And since that little bedroom right off of this little hallway is going to be a bedroom I and not an office, I decided just to put the computer desk right there. It fit perfectly in that area. I didn't know what else to put in that area either. And so I decided to put a computer desk there. And then I think that might be the only one in the whole house of the blue one. I don't think I ended up putting one in the parents' bedroom. I can't quite remember, but we will find out together. And so this, I'm just putting down the beds and stuff for this third like story, or I might be working on the bedroom. I don't know. I do a lot of jumping around in these builds, guys. I am so sorry about that. It's just, if I can't figure out a certain room, I move to a different room and then I'll go back to that other room. So I'm sorry that I'm so jumpy. My name is the Clumsy Simmer, so I guess it kind of makes sense. Um, but this room is very ocean themed. So I pulled out the wallpaper, I think it's from Parenthood, I can't quite remember. And it has like this wavy ocean look to it. I, I don't know if that's supposed to be waves or not, but it, it's giving waves to me. And so it was perfect for this blue townhouse. And so this is a room that has two children in it. Um, really two boys is what I was thinking, but a boy and a girl could fit in there too, or even two girls really. I mean, an ocean theme is very gender neutral. And um, it turned out really cute, I think. Um, definitely giving child, you know, vibes. <laughs> it's definitely for children. I guess, you know, you could always take out like the child mental table and the toy chest and just make it into a teen's room instead very easily you could just take out the child items you know and then i also pulled out that like little turtle right there <laughs> i think that's from my first pet stuff so my apologies i know that is a controversial pack and so i think if they have it now where you you can get a package with the cats and dogs expansion pack as well as the my first pet stuff for the same price as just like for like 40 bucks you know so instead of buying them separately you could buy them together as a package deal on origin anyways i'm not sure how it is on like playstation and like console and stuff but origin you can definitely download the cats and dogs and my first pet stuff as a package deal that is what i recommend if you don't have them already definitely do that and probably wait till it's on sale too the Sims have sales all the time. I think they just ended another sale, which makes me wonder if The Sims is coming to a close. The Sims 4 anyways. Um, I am ready for The Sims 5. I'm kind of nervous about The Sims 5. I don't want it to be like, I don't know. I don't want it to be like mobile games where you have to like pay to advance or pay for like different clothing items and just pay for too much. I I know there's some speculation out there where people are thinking it's going to be a lot like mobile games and I really hope not. They're going to kill the Sims franchise if they do that. So I really hope they don't do that. And um, so we are in the master bathroom now. So I did cut out most of the bathrooms in the other townhouses, but I left this blue one because I just wanted you guys to see pretty much what the bathrooms would look like in the other townhomes as well. Keep in mind, the decorations are all different, but where like the shower is and the toilet and everything, it's all the same. And here I am just play testing each of the different like rooms just to make sure that your sim can actually go and use everything in these rooms and she she can i had to move some stuff around but not too much and so we are working on the balcony in the back of the blue one and i tossed some ideas around of what to do with the balcony 
and it's definitely a weird layout with the sliding glass door the way it is and I didn't want to like cover up the whole sliding glass door and so I ended up just putting like a little seating area off to the side and since there's a dog and a cat in this house I've realized I forgot to put a litter box somewhere <laughs> and so I just put it out on the balcony I mean that's fine your, your Sam's cat can go out there just fine it's not like real life where you have to worry about it falling down the balcony, you know? And so it works just fine. And then there's a food bowl out there too. There is a food bowl down there in the kitchen as well. I figured that could be the dog's bowl down in the kitchen. And then outside next to the loader box could be the cat's bowl. And so now we are back on the third story. <laughs> Talking about jumping around, right? And I am trying to figure out how exactly I want to decorate this room. So there is a lot of purple, but that goes back to the accent colors that I was talking about. <laughs> um, this is very blue, very purple, kind of pink too. And so there is some blue accent colors in there. And it actually turned out really cute. That turtle rug with that nifty knitting rug works so good together. Once I put those out, I was like, oh, that this is definitely the theme to this bedroom, definitely. And looking back now, I did put a turtle rug in this room as well as the other room across the hall, but that's fine. I mean, that's kind of like real life where parents will buy the same thing for each child. <laughs> I know that's what my parents used to do when I was a kid. For me and my sister, we got a lot of the same thing, but like different colors. And I totally get it. I mean, that's what I would probably do if I had two daughters around the same age. Um, just get them the same thing, different colors, you know, call it a day. And so I'm also just putting some different toddler activities around the room. I want to make sure that this is very like play friendly. I am now wondering if I forgot to put a potty down for the toddler. I, I think I did put a potty down, down in the bathroom, which we will be getting to next, that bathroom directly next to this bedroom. Um, yeah, okay, there is a toddler potty there. I'm pretty good about remembering to put a toddler, to uh, gosh, a toddler potty in each of my builds. If there is a toddler bed, I usually pull out the potty right away just so I don't forget it. I do forget high chairs every once in a while. And there is an infant that lives in this house and I don't think I put a high chair, but that's fine. You could totally put a high chair your, yourself if you wanted. And so these stickers, guys, this is the first time I've actually used the bathroom clutter kit, like the stickers that came in that. And it was perfect for this bathroom. This is definitely an ocean themed bathroom. And so this is probably the most decorated of the bathrooms of the whole build is this blue one. And it just looks perfect. There's blue tile walls and then that looks like the water, you know, and then you put the fishes on it and it just looked really good. And so um, I was I was quite happy with it. And your Sims can, in fact, use everything in that bathroom upstairs as well, too. So that's that's really fun. And now we are into the infant's bedroom there is nothing special about this bedroom at all guys I am not even going to lie at this point I think I started realizing what exactly I got myself into and so I'm just trying to hurry up and just put things you know so I can get the build finished you know I don't want to spend a whole week on it if I don't have to and so it's very white very blue um which is really known for no nurseries is for like a pale blue and white for like boys and stuff and so I was overall happy with the way that it turned out and then over in this corner I didn't know what to put there guys and so I just put this chair there <laughs> that's what I put there and so I think we are done with the blue at least on the inside and so we are going to move to the outside and right now I'm just putting out some mailboxes so I almost put each individual mailbox out in front of each of the townhouses and that's what I did when I did a build like this before. I just put the mailbox out in each one but I didn't really like the way that looked and I thought something like this, all of the mailboxes probably would be in the same area 
and so I pulled out the four rent mailboxes and the, there's one that has like three together but that's not realistic to me guys I, there would be a mailbox missing I mean there's four houses right and so there has to be four mailboxes and so I just pulled out individual ones and pull, put them right there after the other. I guess something that I also could have done um, was go into debug and pull out the mailboxes that are kind of like built. It looks like they're built and very like, you know, homemade. <laughs> and it's from the Island Living pack. You guys might know what I'm talking about. You might not, but it's only debug and I really wanted functional, functional mailboxes right there in the front. And so I did away with that debug idea. It just, I would do the debug ones right there for show. And then I would have to hide like other mailboxes off to the side, if that makes sense. And I just didn't really want to do that. And so I decided to just pull out the four individual ones and put it there. And so now we are working out into the back. I'm trying to finish the landscaping in the back and put out different activities. So I actually had an idea of putting a basketball hoop. I don't know how realistic that is. I've never seen people play basketball on sand before, but this is The Sims. They could totally do it. It'd be fine. I wish they came out with a volleyball net. Oh my gosh. How can they not have volleyball yet? You know, especially for like beach activities. Volleyball is like the most known one. And so it would have been perfect to have in this build having like a volleyball court or like volleyball net and you put in one of the backyards. I would have loved that. And so also these chairs, this is the first time, maybe the second time I'm actually able to use those chairs in a build and they're from the four rent expansion pack and they're like typical you know, nothing special. They're just typical outside lawn chairs, like the plastic ones, but that's why I love them so much because they are typical and they are very realistic. There's a lot of people that have those. They even have like some swatches that are like dirty. <laughs> and I love that. I mean, I know that's not for everybody, but they're outside, they're going to be dirty, you know? And so I, I love that idea. And I also put a swing set and your Sims can use that swing set. They just probably can't push anybody on it, but that's fine. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the blue one. We are over into the yellow one now. So this is the master bedroom for the yellow townhouse. And so for this townhouse, I was thinking a single mom lived here with her two children and she's really into candle making or no. I don't think this is the one into candle making. I think the one into candle making is the orange one. So I'll get more into that once we get to the orange one. But for this one, just a single mom. I don't think I really thought of like the profession each of these people that lived in these town homes had. I kind of just, uh, I was just decorating, you know, whatever my, my mind thought I should do is what I did. And so I don't think there's really a rhyme or reason other than like, you know, there's two kids that live here and there's a single mom. That was about it. That was as far as my thought process went. <laughs> my brain doesn't work any better than that, I guess. And uh, yeah, so this is a very cute room. I really am quite happy with this room and I just put a calendar there and I'm pretty sure I put a calendar downstairs as well, but that's fine. I mean, who y'all can have more than one calendar or whiteboard in a house, you know, it's fine. And um, I also painted some of the walls like a purple. And so it's like a yellowy purple room. And I thought it turned out really pretty. Yellow and purple together aren't colors I see often but they're really very pretty together. I feel like yellow is very, very versatile. I feel like you could pair yellow with green, you could pair it with blue, with pink, with purple, and it looks good with all of it. Like, I'm not even lying. Yellow really looks good with all of it. So I've never been one to have yellow as my favorite color, and it still isn't. Don't get me wrong, it's not my favorite, but I do really love it at the same time. 
for many reasons. I mean, it's very bright and pretty and cheery and sunny and makes you really happy, you know? And then, like I was also saying, it's very versatile. You can really pair a lot of different things with it. And like this room here, this is also purple and yellow. I didn't do that on purpose, it just happened. And um, I just plopped down like that rug and I put like the wallpaper. This is from the kit that Plumbella helped the Sims team with, or she like designed it, I think. And it was like the cute clutter kit or something like that. This is probably one of my favorite kits. I'm not even going to lie. Like this stuff is so cute. And that rug is so adorable. I use that kit mainly for like my children's rooms and my teenagers rooms. And it works wonderfully and it looks really good too. And so we are pretty much finishing up this bedroom. This is for a child, obviously. There's a little activity table there. And then I pulled out that poster. I think it's from Growing Together. Maybe not, maybe not Growing Together, but it has like the different hands and it reminds me of like school, you know? And I thought it was really cute. I don't know really why it would be in a child's room, but it matched. And that's as far as that went. There is really no other reason why it was in there. <laughs> And, um, and then like that bathroom right there, it pretty much stays like that. I can't remember. I think that is after I decorated that bathroom. Yeah, that bathroom's already decorated. So that's, can you tell how less decorated that bathroom is compared to the blue one on the same like exact like room? Yeah. Like I said, I couldn't make them all very cluttered or else it would have just took too much time. But I am happy with the way that it turned out nonetheless. I mean, they don't all have to be cluttered. There's different families living here, you know, and so they can't all be clutter, clutter queens. You know, they have to be different. <laughs> they can't, you know, some of them are cleaner. Some of them are dirtier. So this is probably one of like the clean ones. I think they're all clean to be honest, but um, yeah. I'm gonna change the subject now. Anyways, so we are downstairs into the yellow kitchen and I pulled out those like lemons in a bowl. I don't ever use those, but I found them in the catalog and I was like, well, you know, I have to use them. This is the yellow kitchen. I have to put them in here. This is like the one and only time I can actually use that bowl of lemons. And so I'm going to use it. And then I also put out like a little like drink tray that your Sims, you know, it looks like they're gonna be making like some Kool-Aid or lemonade or something, you know? And then I also finished it off by putting a dining table in here. So this for this townhouse, this is the actual dining room. Like I don't put an additional dining table in the living room as well, like I did for the blue one. So um, yeah, I mean, there's only going to be like actually three Sims that live here. So like the mom, the child, the toddler. So that's kind of what I was thinking. And then like, if you do have a mom and a dad living here, then that's, that's only four. So definitely more than enough room for them just to have one dining table in the kitchen. And I thought it worked out perfectly. It gave me room to put an additional dining or not dining but an additional computer table in that space instead of a dining table which is always good it's never a complaint to have more than one computer table in a build um as far as like dining tables go your sam can just sit on the couch to eat just like i was talking about that i do in real life <laughs> um your sam can definitely do that in the game as well and i really enjoy that that's something that wasn't in The Sims 2, and I don't know much about The Sims 3. I kind of stopped playing Sims while The Sims 3 was out. I went from The Sims 2 to The Sims 4, honestly. I played The Sims 3 sometimes, but not enough to really know everything about it. And um, so The Sims 2, your Sim had to like eat, and that was it. They couldn't do other tasks while they eat. And there's something that The Sims 4 has, and I love that. Um, that's something unique to The Sims 4 that's not in the other Sims games. Now, I don't know about The Sims 3. It could be in The Sims 3. I, I don't know about that. But I know it wasn't in The Sims 2. Your Sim literally, like, had to eat. And if they talked while they ate, um, they took all day to eat. And so there is a mod. I know this isn't Sims 2, but there's a mod for The Sims 2 where it's more eating, less talking or something like that. And I think that's kind of funny. But um, 
Do you guys ever wish you could put that mod on somebody in real life? <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just joking. That's mean. That's so mean, guys. That's mean. I'm totally just joking. But, um, yeah, so a little bit about this build. This is the living room in the yellow townhouse. And it pretty much stays like this. But my laptop shut off at some point, like right now. <laughs> and... I forgot to press record when I came back on. And so you missed a little bit of the about you missed a little bit of the living room, but really not too much. You've seen the majority of it. There was just some other things that I put in there that you guys didn't see, like that the little cat bowls and the scratching posts and stuff like that. I think I added that when you guys weren't watching and then like some of the pictures on the wall and stuff like that but really not much oh and then I did some work outside too but you know it's you're you see what is there you didn't have to put watch me put it there right and so I figured it was fine I didn't I really didn't want to have to go back and redo it all you know there was no way I was going to do that so I just figured I could edit that part and put a transition and call it a day and that was that <laughs> So that's pretty much what I did and I'm finishing up like the landscaping in the back as I decorate each of the different backs and I'm really glad that I did that and it, it gives me more room to actually put stuff down and then if there's like some stuff that like if there's a big old space there and I didn't have anything to put there I could just put more landscaping there you know. It's always easier to add landscaping than it is to take landscaping away. Because once you get it to a certain point, it like looks really good and then you have to take some away and then it, it ruins the whole thing, you know? <laughs> and then I also put some rugs out here in the front and both the front and the back on each of the balcony and patios of the yellow one, I put these yellow rugs down and I love the way that looks. It gives it a really like bohemian look to it. And I was really happy about that, so I left it. And then I'm just placing some like yellow chairs down in the front. I really didn't really know what to do with each of these balconies. I kind of just wung it and it turned out pretty good. I like the one in the back. So this one right off the mom's bedroom is where she does yoga at. And I thought that was a really good touch and it gave me like an excuse not to put anything on the balcony because <laughs> that's like where she does yoga where she meditates and relaxes and unwinds on each afternoon like doesn't that sound really amazing to live in a place like this and to have a balcony that you could just sit on and unwind after a day of like working or whatever but chances are if you live in something like this at the beach what do you do as a job you know unless you work from home but other than that, like, you're, you're kind of far from, like, offices, I would say. Maybe not. There's plenty of people that live at the beach in Florida and stuff. But I just never, you know, to me, it just seems like people that live at the beach are mostly retirees. Not all, but mostly. And then, like, like I was saying, working from home would be a really good way to live at the beach. I've always wanted to live at the beach. But then again, when hurricane season comes around... How scary and stressful would that be? Like, it wouldn't even be worth it at that point, I feel like. And hurricane season is every year here in Florida, you know. We get hurricanes every year. Some bad, some aren't bad. And even inland and, like, off of... I'm born and raised in Tampa, but I live in Plant City right now. And that is more inland, almost like how Orlando's inland... So is Plant City, and we also have a neighborhood or a town called Lakeland, and Plant City is kind of in between Tampa and Lakeland, and so even being this far inland, we still get hurricane damage pretty bad. Like, we had one a couple years ago that was a Category 4. Even when it got inland, it was still a Category 4, and so it did some damage, you know. I It hit... Fort Myers first and so they got really bad like really bad damage you know because they're right off of the coast and so it really destroyed Fort Myers which is always sad to see you know any area get totally just trampled by a hurricane you know um, but luckily here inland it was far enough away we didn't get much damage but we still got some damage so that 
just speaks to how bad the hurricane was, you know? But then you'll have some hurricanes where it will be like super bad. Everyone says that this is going to be like the hurricane ever, you know, it's gonna do all this damage and then it does nothing. Like it has no damage, which is the best case scenario. You know, we never want a lot of damage and stuff. But yeah, with all that being said, hurricanes are not that scary to me. I was born and raised in Florida. I've lived here my whole life in Tampa, right off the coast. So we've had hurricanes my whole life. And so as a child, you know, they would scare me. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. But as an adult, they don't scare me as bad as like tornadoes do. Tornadoes, like hurricanes, there's a prediction. And you're watching that hurricane for months. But then tornadoes, oh my gosh, those are scary. Those come like out of nowhere, like literally out of nowhere. Like you could just be living your everyday life and all of a sudden like you hear the tornado. I don't know. I've never been in a tornado. I lived in Tennessee for a few years and I heard a tornado siren one time and I couldn't sleep that night, <laughs> but nothing ever came of it. Thank God. Um, we just, you know, they had some really, really bad tornadoes here recently up in Clarksville and I lived there for a little bit. So I lived in Nashville for a little bit and then I lived in Clarksville for a little bit and Clarksville got like hammered by tornadoes and it really devastated that area over there. I wonder how it's all doing over there now, but that was like here recently and that's just so scary to me. And they could literally like take you up, suck you up into the tornado and you're like flying around, getting hit by stuff, you know, passing away most likely. And it's just so scary and not, you know, there's no predicting with tornadoes really. Like you can say there's a tornado watch, but that doesn't necessarily mean there's going to be one. And then not all tornadoes are even like found before. Like there's not each, each tornado doesn't have a tornado watch every time. Sometimes they, they just sneak up on people and that's why they're so scary. And also earthquakes scare me too, but enough about the natural disasters. <laughs> let, let me just uh, change the subject again. So we are on to the yellow one now. We, we finished everything in the yellow one. The yellow one's done, the blue one's done, and now we're in the red one. And so this is like the party house that I was talking about and where the roommates live. And so this is like the game room. And here I am just having my Sam go like in and out, trying to make sure she can sit everywhere, all the tables she can sit at, she can walk into the bathroom, all of that. And it, it all works. And so this is like a little game room. There's a ping pong table. They can play juice pong, I kind of thought. And there is like a table where you can play like different games, like symbols and cards and everything like that. And then the two bedrooms are upstairs. One is for one of the roommates and then there is one for the other roommate. And you can even have like, there's a double bed in one. And so you can have two Sims sleep in that bed itself. And then you can also have another roommate in this smaller room down here. But I decided to make that into like a little streamer's room. So I figured one of the people that live here is a video game streamer. And so that is what I designed that room to be. And I put like posters in the back and like lights and stuff. And so, yeah, sorry I was talking during all of that. I was talking about hurricanes and tornadoes and earthquakes. I mean, you know, not, you guys don't care about that stuff. So <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just such a rambler. But um, we are down into the kitchen now. But one more thing about the playroom upstairs or like the game room. What, how awesome would that be to like drink and play like beer pong or juice pong in the Sims and like have that view and the balcony in the back. Like that is awesome. I feel like this would be like the ultimate party house really honestly. And um, so I, I don't love the way the decorations came out in the red one, but overall it did turn out really pretty and um, very unique. It's different from just the typical family, you know, house. And so, and then down here, this is the living room and I pulled out the sectional couch from Dream Home Decorator. And then these little tables right here are from high school years. And I have not been able to use them in a build yet because they're just so not the typical coffee table. You know, you have to have a special 
room for them and I don't really use them in my teenagers rooms either but this build was perfect for it and so I really I'm happy that I took the advantage and took the opportunity and just used them and then I sized one down and put it under the other one and it turned out really pretty I think that living room is quite pretty to be honest and then I had no idea what to put on the walls <laughs> and so I just put some like picture frames I want to say I might change that to something else but I'm not 100% sure but I did put some picture frames my thoughts were the friends take pictures together probably best friends live here and so they could fill in like their pictures oh and then I put that picture down that was like made by a simmer like a real content creator I think like designed and everything and I don't typically use it. I can't really figure out how to use it. And so I used it in this build. I mean, it was red. <laughs> and so, and it matched, you know. And so I, just, I used it. And then um, down here, I put the grill down here and some like lounge chairs outside and some like sofa seats. And right here, I put a woohoo bush. I am not 100% sure if your Sims can woohoo in there. I'm guessing they can. Uh, I hope they can, but if not, then that sucks. But I put it there anyways. I figured right there at the party house and it blends in with all of the different like flowers and stuff. And so that's like perfect. You know, someone drinks a little bit too much juice and they go woohoo in the bush right there. Uh, good times, good times. But, um, and I also pulled out, so we're about to start the orange one, by the way. And so we're nearing the end of the video already. Wow, I have just been talking nonstop. And so... But that's fine. I mean, that's fine. <laughs> and I really wanted to use that boat that I pulled out, but it, there was no space for it. So I it did not end up using it. And on the side of the house, I, probably not realistic, but I put one of those vending machines where you could get like beach supplies and it was orange. So I put it on the side of the orange. And so I thought it fit. And that area right here on both sides was lacking and I didn't want to just add some more grass and landscaping because there's more than enough landscaping on here already. And so I figured, you know, hopscotch. <laughs> People can hopscotch on the sand, can't they? Um, I don't know how easy it would be, but I figured what the heck. Uh, what else could I put there besides that? So I decided to put that and then it was orange and it matched and then I found like a blue and yellow one to put between the blue and the yellow townhouses and so that matched over there as well and so I just said what the heck, why not? And then I'm just putting out some random stuff out here in the front. I, I just want to put some stuff so it looks like people actually live here. It's not just landscaping, you know? And um, I did not realize that umbrella I just pulled out and put over the lawn chairs came from For Rent. I didn't realize we got a new lawn umbrella. Um, so I loved that. I put it over the lawn chairs out in the back and it looked really good. <laughs> and so, yeah, we're pretty much done on the red one outside. I just put some like benches out there nothing too special and same with this orange one there's nothing special about this orange one either i'm just putting out some like chairs out there just trying to make it look you know lived in and cute but also different at the same time and i'm trying not to be too samey samey here and so here is a the bedrooms upstairs and the orange one and that bed that i pulled out is not one I don't think I've ever used that bed swatch I can't remember if I've used it for like like a different swatch with that bed it's from kids room stuff so I I'm pretty sure I used that bed before just not that swatch and so I pulled out that orange swatch and how pretty is it I mean I know you can't see it right now but it was really vibrant orange and so I loved it. It has like little elephants on it, I think. It was really cute. And then I also pulled out like that little chair that's shaped like a cat. <laughs> I thought that was cute too. And then I also pulled out a radio and I almost put that salt lamp in here, but I decided against that. And then I put like the cat radio with a lamp behind it and that little orange slice thing, that is actually a marble mat. I have not actually used that yet. 
So I hope that your Sams can actually play with it right there. I know it has like a huge area around that. Um, so I'm hoping your Sims can actually use it. But nonetheless, it looks pretty cute. So if you can't use it, it's just there for decoration, I guess. And then I put like a little orange kitty in here and just putting some different decorations. This is definitely for a kid's room. Um, I was kind of thinking a girl was in here, but a boy or a girl could live here. And then I pulled out that like wallpaper slash paint that's kind of ombre from orange to red. And I thought it looked really pretty and so I left it there. And then right here, there's just like a little blank area right there. I didn't know what to put there. So I ended up putting It Takes Two, like that poster. And then I also put like one of those neon signs. I put those there too. And it turned out pretty good. And now we are over into the toddler's room. And at this point, I was running out of ideas. <laughs> I want each of the room to kind of be furnished differently. Like literally different people are in these houses, you know, and like different personalities and all that. And so I was trying really, really hard to make it look different. And it, you know, it's not bad. It's not my best room, but it's not bad. <laughs> And I also pulled out like a little toy box and put it right there in front of the toddler's bed. I hope that doesn't make it to where your toddler can't use the bed. I mean, that would be really sucky. I mean, they could totally get on it on the other side right there next to like the, um, the side table desk. And so they should be able to use it. If not, then you could totally just move the toy box and it'll be fine. And then that bathroom right there, I did cut that out. Like I was saying at this point, I mean, we're already like an hour and 50 minutes into this video. So if I didn't cut out the bathrooms, this would have been like way, way too long. So I figured there was really nothing new for you guys to see <laughs> with the bathrooms, just like I was saying earlier. And now we are into the master bedroom of the orange townhouse. And this is the townhouse that actually I figured the person, one of the parents that lives here is really into candle making. And so out on the porch, I take away that telescope that's right there and I put the candle making kit there instead. And then I also go around and I put different like the homemade candles, like the homemade ones and not the homemade ones. Also, I kind of figured like right here, that table that has the flower and the candle on it. I figured your Sam, you know, we could pretend your Sam made that candle, you know, all the candles in this house. I figured the Sam quote unquote made. And so um, I also put some of the homemade ones too. And here's the candle making kit or table. And I also put some like t candles around it to make it look like she loves making the candles and she makes them all the time. And that could be how she makes her money to be honest. And then here's some of the homemade ones I just put on like the desk. And I'm also raising some up to put on the balcony right there. I thought that was kind of a cute idea. And then right here, um, we, I did not know what to put here. I didn't want to make it another bedroom. I guess I could have, but I thought two children's bedrooms was probably enough. So I ended up making this into a office instead. I didn't really have any, I don't think this is a streamer like the one in the red is. I kind of just figured this is their office or they work from home maybe. And um, I, I really, this is an office that I have not done before. I've never made an office that looked like that before. Orange is not a color I use very often, but honestly, it's really, really vibrant and really pretty. And so I really need to make use of orange more often. And I also put a litter box. So I figured a cat lived here as well. And then I also put this little hamster cage there. It didn't fit in the kid's room and I needed something there, you know? And so I put a hamster kit or hamster like cage there instead. And right here in the entryway, nothing really special. I just put a table there and put some like, I put a fish tank on there and then like a plant and that was, that was that. And so we are very, very fastly getting done with the orange one. As you could tell, I was, I was just putting things down at this point and um, just sticking with the orange theme. If you click the little like color scheme and you click like whichever color you want, like in this case, it was orange. It definitely helps go by faster. You just pull out a bunch of orange stuff, you know? And um, 
oh those curtains right there were so pretty and so I, I really wanted to use them and um, I don't use them very often like they came from high school years and it has like the different color flowers on there and you can't actually look outside so that's the only bad part about it but they were really pretty and so I wanted to make use of it and um, if it was real life you could just totally open the curtains you know but now we are downstairs into the kitchen for the orange one nothing really too special I just put you know I'm trying to figure out where to put the cat food bowls and the trash can and stuff and I put the trash can kind of off the fridge and your sim can in fact go past that and these chairs yes I did use those exact chairs in the blue one but we're not gonna talk about that okay that's fine it's fine I mean they're pretty so um, and then I also put like I'm gonna finish up the living room here in a minute and just put like some couches and stuff I believe I put the couches those couches are from island living if I'm not mistaken and um, yeah guys I'm really quite happy with the way these turned out I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as well and of course just as always if you are interested in downloading this build it is on my gallery and I have a bunch of other things there as well I do a bunch of sims um, a bunch of like houses I have rooms on there so definitely go check out my gallery if you are on the sims and you are looking for more people to follow on the gallery definitely check my page out the clumsy simmer just like my YouTube um, and I also have a link down in the description box below as well as a link on my actual profile and they will both take you to the same place and also guys I put a community post on my YouTube thanking you all for above 300 subscribers that really is just amazing to me I can't believe we're still going up at this point you know I figured you know people would get tired of me but I guess you guys love me no <laughs> I'm just joking you don't have to love me but you're enjoying my work and I really 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 appreciate that definitely you know if you made it this far like this video it helps me out a lot it pushes the algorithm to push this video out to other people and comment down below your favorite part of the build and also share this with your friends so that they can enjoy listening to me ramble as well <laughs> oh and of course subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already i mean if you made it this far into an hour video what are you doing if you're not subscribed what are you doing just subscribe to my channel it's gonna help me out you know little old me i know you don't know me but that's fine <laughs> you can help me still you know um anyways guys i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day or night wherever you are in the world and i will see you in the next one bye guys